Stay for a second if you're a business owner. You don't need more ads. You need better content. 90% of people judge your brand in the first three seconds. That's where powerful editing drives real revenue. If your videos aren't converting, the issue isn't the product, it's the presentation. Hi everyone. Let's create a 3D edit from scratch. First, I'll bring on my default text. Make it bigger. Hit Windows plus dot key and then, you know, select this square. Increase the scale too. Now, I'll make this a bit off white. Now, I'll bring these, you know, clocks. So, bring this over here. Okay. Reduce the opacity. Copy this and bring another over here. Now, I'll bring my default text and write stay for a second. Decrease the font size. As this exact animation is not available in CapCut, you can do this manually, but it will take a lot of time by doing individual alphabets. So, what we're going to do is head on to animation and this concentrate. Okay. I'll bring another default text and make a line like this. Okay. By pressing underscore key. And then change the color to dark blue. Let's zoom this in for a better view. Make this bigger. Put this over here. Like this. And now I'll simply copy this and put this at the end over here. Again, copy this. This time I'll hit space. Let's rotate this. And Switch on the background. Make sure the color is this blue. And hit space to cover this up. Now I'll simply select this. And reduce the opacity. To make it look like this. Then I'll simply select the last line and this rectangle box and hit Alt plus G. To make it a compound clip. And then in the starting, when this text animation is there, I'll also animate this by hitting video, mask, add mask, split, rotate this to 90 minus 90 and close this up. Click on the mask keyframe, go ahead and drag this out. Hit R plus K. Now let's select bodies. So you get this animation at the start. Now for the clock, simply select this transform keyframe on both of them. Okay. And then the starting keyframe, just rotate them like this. Select this, rotate this out like this. And go 20 frames ahead. Okay. By hitting shift and right arrow key. And just, you know, simply rotate this. And bring it inside a bit. Do the same thing here. Rotate this and bring it inside. Now hit R plus K and we'll simply select cubic out. And now for the second scene, it will simply you know blur out and zoom in. So I have to simply select all of this. Hit Alt plus G to make everything a compound clip. Transform keyframe, go ahead. And in the start, you can see it's zooming out and then zooming in. So, go 10, 15 frames ahead. And then at the start, you know, it will simply zoom out go 2 3 frames ahead and then click on the transform keyframe and again go 15 frames ahead and zoom in hit alt plus k cubic out
cut it from here and head on to effects and I'll search for blur. Bring this on top, click on the keyframe. So it will blur, blur in. Okay, so at the start, the keyframe will be zero. Go ahead, blur. Then go ahead again and then make it zero. Or plus K and ease it. Stretch these out. First, we'll bring this PNG. Then I'll bring another default text, put it below this PNG. Hit Windows plus dot key. Select the circle. Make this bigger. Make this blue color. Put this over here. And for the text, if you are a business person. Okay. So I'll just simply copy this. Paste it. I'll be selecting showing up. Select the circle. Click on transform keyframe. Go ahead. Again, click on transform keyframe. Go to the start and drag this down. Hit R plus K. Cubic out. If you want, you can separate this text, meaning you can keep if you are a in one text layer and businessman in a separate text layer and then you can add the animation separately to get a delayed text effect okay so what i'm going to do is in this scene simply select till here select this all hit all plus g put this over here okay so to look something like this and in the reference video, you can see that this is also coming up. So I'll simply select this, head on to animation and select slide up. And again, from here, it will zoom in. Okay. So transform keyframe, go ahead and zoom this in. Hit R plus K, cubic out. And again, from here, Click on this blur. And increase the blur over here. Hit R plus K. Ease it. And over here, I'll make it zero again. Hit B to cut the layer from here. Again, this will come. So, this time, I have created this 3D mobile animation in After Effects and provided you the, you know, asset so you can use in your video. So just put it over here. Okay. And bring the star also, PNG. Put this over here. Copy the star. Put this over here. Let's make this smaller. And as you can see in the video, it is rotating the stars and this text is there. You don't need more ads. Okay. So first select these. Go ahead. And simply you have to rotate it. Okay. Delete this and just copy this again. I'll deselect position from this. Put it over here. Bring in our text layer. And you don't need more ads. So and then 
bring in a default text, hit space, select the background, click this color to change the color of the background, put this over here below this text, change the height or lower the height and width. I'll just head on to my scale and deselect this, lower this height and width and then simply hit Alt plus G, let's make it bigger, hit Alt plus G to make it a compound clip, mask, add mask split, click on mask settings, minus 90, pull this back, go ahead, Again, click on mask settings and drag this forward. Hit Alt plus K and cubic out. Now, to basically animate this text, so I'll select you don't need animation and then I'll select showing up. Okay, so your animation will look something like this. Select all of this and make it a compound clip. Okay. And then from here, we'll do this animation 90% of people. So this animation is same, the text animation which we did just now. Okay. Bring this PNG, put it here. I'll click, I'll select this animation, turbulence. Copy this, put this here, another copy and put this here. Okay. Bring this code, put this over here, and this text animation is same. Just select these, okay. Click on rotation on all of them. Go ahead. Again, click on rotation. Now go to the first keyframe and rotate them. Hit Alt plus K. We only want rotation for two. Okay, the corners. Also, I'll select position. Select this, go here and again click on position keyframe. Now go to the first keyframe and bring this down. Select this, bring this down. Hit all plus K. Okay. Let's write this text 90% of people. So I'm just going to open this. Copy these two. Paste it over here. Change this text to and then for this animation, okay. This one is an interesting animation. So after this. Just simply, I will cut from here, select all of this, hit all plus G to make it a compound clip, and then drag this towards the left, click on here, then go ahead. Drag this out, hit Alt plus K, cubic out, then from here I'll bring this PNG, okay, make this bigger, mask, add mask, split, rotate this. Click on transform keyframe. 
sorry the mask keyframe go ahead and drag this up hit alt plus k cubic out And then we are going to bring our class PNG on top. Okay. And here you can put your you know profile PNG. So this profile is the original creator who created this video. So I'll put that. Okay. Select this to hit all plus G to make it a compound clip. Then click on scale. Go ahead. Again click on scale. Hit all plus K, go to the start and make this zero. Cubic out. Go inside this, copy these two. Okay. Paste it here. Alt plus G to compound clip this and transform keyframe. Go ahead, transform keyframe. Alt go to the start, drag this out, hit Alt plus K, then cubic out. Okay, so it will look something like this. Let's see the whole animation for now. and then this animation so again these will be rotating okay now what will happen is it will again go out so from here transform keyframe go ahead again drag this out and just go inside copy this and delete it from here paste it outside okay Keep this here. And then bring the clock animation. And you can write the text over here. And this last part, which is this, okay, this is for you to do all of the you know animations which i have shown in the first four to five frames are you know same so make sure to complete the animation by downloading the assets from the description see you in the next video